Hi, Namji Gamja plays Overwatch Part 2. Because I love Overwatch. Overwatch is so cool. Where are they spawning? You turn. I just. If you don't know what Overwatch is, you can watch the previous video. You can click on that on my face. Click on my face. In this video, I will introduce some more characters that have some more English expressions that come with that. The first character I'm going to talk about is a character called Tracer. She's probably the most famous character of Overwatch because she's on the cover, right? Her powers are all related to time. She can move very quickly backwards and forwards. She can actually rewind time. That's pretty cool. And she also has a sticky bomb that she can stick to people and, and it blows up. One of the things she says is, it looks like you need a timeout. Looks like you need a timeout. Timeout means a few things, but most often it is punishment for doing something bad. You get separated from everyone else or you stop what you're doing for a certain period of time because you're being punished. We often do this with children. It happens in sports sometimes as well. You see coaches and stuff. Stop the game. Let's pause the game for a second because we need to talk about something, right? Let's let's have a timeout. T for timeout, right? Since Tracer is involved with time this is a pun it means two things at the same time you've been bad so you need to stop and go away from everyone else but she also is out of time she's a time traveling character pretty crazy the next character is a character called mccree and he's a cowboy wow he's very very american oh my gosh he has a revolver that he can shoot people with he can also quickly fire it uh, which is very hard to stop. He can do a quick roll and he also has a flash bang for stunning people. One of the things he says is it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Double kill. Like shooting fish in a barrel. It's like shooting fish in a barrel is a, quite a long expression, but it just means that was very easy, right? A barrel is a large container that usually is filled with some kind of liquid like wine or oil or water, right? So if a fish is in a river or an ocean, it can swim away and you try and shoot, you, you can't hit it, right? But if it's in a barrel, you can shoot it very easily. There are lots and lots of expressions in English which mean very easy already, like a piece of cake and a walk in the park, right? This expression is just another one, right? In class, I usually teach about 13 or 14 different expressions, which mean very easy. It's not just important to know one expression because you're going to hear lots and lots when people talk, right? The last character I want to talk about is a character called Hanzo. He is a man with a bow, a samurai commander. He can shoot people with arrows. He can run up the side of walls like Genji could in the last video. He can shoot an arrow that scatters into lots of little arrows. He also has an arrow that is kind of like radar, so you can see through walls and see where the uh, bad guys are, right? Genji and Hanzo are both very, very Japanese, so one of Hanzo's voice lines is related to Pokemon. He says, I choose you, Spirit Dragon. I choose you, Spirit Dragon. Hanzo's character uses dragons as a symbol, okay? Pokemon? You, you know Pokemon. Everyone knows Pokemon. Pikachu and the other characters, right? Pokemon is super, super famous. It's been around for at least 20 years. So people are very, very familiar with it. So if you hear someone say, I choose you, and then say a name, they're definitely making a reference to Pokemon as a joke. This game Overwatch is so cool, it can reference other games. Careful! There's a red hook! <laughs> I'm actually planning different videos for you guys that are not about learning English, that are just about doing stuff in Korea. So hopefully, I have some time to film those videos 
soon and I will post them as soon as I can, right? I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.